So hello and welcome back to the IFMAR 110th World Championships, the IC track 200mm, uh, here in Gubbio in Italy. Uh, our coverage on RC Racing TV presented to you by Team Shepherd, by HBI Racing and by Runner Time Fuel. And as you can see, we're back in the pits and it's still an absolute hive of activity down here. As you'd expect, nothing less. Turn Andy more Henshins through. And we are going to have a speak and a quick chat with the stars of the earlier Super Bowl session, including, hopefully, the man who won said session. And I think Frank has found just the man right now. It's a little bit of a, an odd atmosphere down here because for the top guys, they're not on track again all of the rest of today. So they are now fettling and working hard. Well, I guess for this guy, he's done a lot of the hard work. He's into the final as the Super Bowl fight winner. Alessio, welcome to RC Racing TV. How good does it feel to have won that Super Bowl session? So now hey, the sensation is uh, amazing. So I'm really, really happy. And uh, I've done, I think, uh, one of my best lap when uh, I'm coming up. <laughs> and this is uh, amazing. So I haven't had a lot of war. So the sensation is strange. <laughs> For me, the first uh, World Championship final. And it's arrived with this uh, in this style. So it's a great, good sensation. How good does it feel to achieve this Super Bowl win at home, on home soil, along with your countryman Dario Balestri? Just how cool is that? And you had the home crowd going wild. How cool was that? So, uh, I, I don't know, but uh, uh, I think that... Uh, um, <laughs> you can speak slow. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Uh, just how, tell us how cool, how great it was to have the home crowd behind you and they were cheering there when you made that. Just how cool was it to win Super Bowl on home turf? Dice come è stato come è stato vincere il Super Bowl, poi sta dietro dietro Dario, così lo sapevi un po'. So, it, uh, I think that uh, one of the best uh, moment of, uh, of my life for now. And uh, so, to start tomorrow morning with, uh, behind Dario. It's a uh, honor for me because uh, Dario is, uh, I think, uh, one of the best drivers of the world. I have a little, a little bit experience of Dario, but uh, I will try to, to pass him. And uh, we are uh, very friends with Dario. So it's, uh, we'll, be see to, we'll see tomorrow. <laughs> well, it's great for these two close friends, these two countrymen, to be in the final together. Alexio, congratulations on winning the Super Bowl. Uh, I would yeah. shake your hand, but you have the car there as well. But thanks very much. Thanks very much for speaking to us as well. So there's our Super Bowl winner. Let's have a word with the other guys involved in that Super Bowl session as well. It's a little bit congested down here. Let's have a word with Dominic Greiner, who was joined second in that session. Dominic, talk us through that Super Bowl session. It was obviously very close. We know Super Bowl sessions are. But do you feel like you could have got... Had, were there, was there anything left out on track there, or was that the maximum you had? Yeah, it was, the, the left from Alessio was really perfect. My car felt not so good yesterday, or in the first, uh, the the first or last qualification. Um, but yeah, it's uh, very strange here because uh, the loop is on a difficult position. Then you can push over the curb, and when you think you have a good lap, then you can push over the curb, and then you have a really good lap. And I thought uh, in my fifth lap, it's it's very good and I pushed over the curb but not so much so unless it was two tenths uh, faster in the second uh, section so or in the third section so yeah very close but can happen it was a new adventure and yeah exciting just talk to us about the actual experience of competing in Super Bowl it's very unique obviously one driver on the driver stand at a time just talk us through the kind of emotions and stuff you feel out there because it must be most of the other time you're driving, you've got other guys up there with you. Yeah, it's the first time you heard, you heard the engine, the first time you heard it's, uh, how it's drive and how it's run, and then you focus just on your car and not on the other cars. So, yeah, and you're really nervous because everyone is looking at you. So, if you crash your car or make a mistake, so, yeah, it's, I was really nervous, but after two laps, it was okay. But Alessio was still faster, and yeah. So this means, obviously, you move into one of tomorrow's two semi-finals. Does this change your outlook at all? Do you change the setup at all? I mean, the car is still very quick. We know that. Is there anything going forward? Or are you feeling confident about the semi-final? 
Yeah, the car feels really good at the moment, but uh, I have a little bit, uh, it's a little bit too difficult for the long run. So I will change uh, some things that makes the car more easier. And we tried it in the practice, so it's not not much slower, so much more consistent. And that's, I think, the key for the final it's half an hour. We have very high uh, tire wear, so also the strategy uh, is very important. So everything can happen tomorrow. Excellent. Well, no change in the strategy for the semi-final. Just make the car a little bit easier to drive. Not about the one-lap speed anymore, but Dominic, we've still got a pretty good chance of making it through to the final. We'll see you there tomorrow, you. here there in the semi. And we've found another one. They're in close proximity. This is the reigning 1-8th world champion, the man trying to add the 1-10th world title to his collection, Simon Kersbrook. Simon, just oh. talk us through that uh, Super Bowl session. You were very, very close. Obviously, the margin's very tight. It looked to me like the rear of the car was a little bit loose, a little bit slidey in the corners. Yeah, that's right. Uh, maybe, I don't know, we just had two minutes for a warm-up, so I'm n maybe it was causing a little bit of this, because uh, I couldn't really break in the tires enough, but uh, yeah, at the end we are all very close together and I'm happy. Yeah. So, I mean, just talk us through the actual experience of being in Super Bowl. You've done quite a few of these sessions now and you seem to be very good at it. Just how hard is it to kind of block everything else out when you're the one guy on the driver's stand? Yeah, it, it's really hard. It's completely different to a normal qualification round. It's, yeah, it's not uh, only the old people look at you. It's also you are there, you hear your engine, your second gear. Maybe you hear your clutch is a little bit too tight or a little bit too loose. Yeah, you, you hear everything, yeah. And then you look, you, you know you have to make uh, one good lap. You are a little bit wide on this lap. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really hard for the driver, I think, yeah. And for sure, very, very excited for the, for the viewers, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was thrilling for us to watch and thrilling for us to commentate on as well. So you're now into one of the tomorrow's two semi-finals. Uh, does this change your outlook at all? Does this change your strategy going forward? Or is, the, is it the same regardless had you made it to the final? Yeah, for sure there is a little bit uh, different strategy now because we have uh, go through the semi. We have to make everything uh, perfect that nothing happened in the semi. But uh, for sure it's also for, for our team, for me and my brother, a uh, good experience for the final if we can made it so we have a, a little bit experience for tire wear engine and everything to be maximum prepared for the final if we get in <laughs> if we get in he says this is a guy who's been so strong in the 1 8th and 1 10th class in the past year You've got to still be feeling confident about getting that 1 10th crown right it'll, it'll suit next to the 1 8th won't it yeah sure yeah <laughs> <laughs> thanks very much for speaking Thank to the site good luck in tomorrow's semi-final who do we have over here ah we have patrick schaefer of team shepherd good to have you on Welcome along. How how is your experience of the World Championship so far? How's it been going for you guys? Yeah, for our team it's going quite good because uh, Simon showed that uh, our car is working really well here. It uh, extremely good performance in the Super Pole session. Yeah, it's some bad luck. Uh, maybe he was a little bit nervous, but uh, all in all, we are very satisfied uh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's you guys have been very very strong so far. It's been a very competitive field. Have you guys brought anything new to the table in terms of? Uh, setup and chassis and parts for this event or is it kind of a tried and tested setup no we were here for the warm-up session uh, earlier this year with uh, Dirk Wisniewski who is our main test driver and uh, we we test a lot and we found out that uh, some new parts we had some prototypes with us and they work really good here so we produced them and brought them for all the people so it's uh, available for everybody which is very important for us because we don't want to have some special parts only for the team so it's important that everybody can can use them so it, it, it sounds like that test session was really valuable in getting you guys some data especially on the uh, new parts can you just talk us through some of those special new parts that you, you brought through that test session and now the guys are running this weekend yes of course uh, for sure it was very valuable um, I can show you my car, which is uh, taken apart a little bit. But for example, we, we introduced this brace here in the rear, oh, which uh, stiffens up the rear end, which makes the car much more easier to drive and more stable. Then we changed the position of the front differential. We put it further back to have more weight in the center of the car, yeah. which uh, improved the steering. The, the chassis blade was updated, the radio blade. So we brought quite some stuff uh, for, for this important race here. <laughs> Well, you, can't, you, you always want to bring your best stuff here and take a look at this, folks. This is cutting edge RC racing technology from the guys at Shepherd this weekend. So it's great to have you guys along. It's great to have you guys on board with us for this weekend. Just how confident are you that one of the, the Shepherd guys can bring it home this weekend? Yeah, it will be a tough final. One hour final is always very long. Uh, every everything depends also on fuel strategy, tire strategy, 
I think Simon has a very good package. Uh, we are confident that he can make a good result, but his opponents are also very strong, so we have to see what happens in the final. But uh, yeah, we are confident that we can have a good result, and hopefully uh, he will be on the top, but we don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, there's a lot of unknowns in these sort of yeah. big events, but you guys have got a great chance. Thanks very much for speaking to us, Patrick, no and problem. good luck for you and Team Shepherd for the rest of the weekend. So let's uh, head out. We've got a lot to crack on with. Sneak through here. It's very tight down here in the pits. You can, you can always tell. Whoops. It's barely room to move. It's a very intense atmosphere. It's an odd atmosphere at the moment because a lot of these guys are still working on their cars for the, if they're in the lower finals. But of course, for the top guys, this is it until tomorrow, until the semi-finals. So we just spoke to those guys, Simon and Dominic, uh, speaking to them about how this changes their strategy for the semi-finals going forward. Doesn't appear to be too much. Just make the car a little bit more comfortable over the long runs. Of course, in Super Bowl, you set it up right on the limit to go as fast as possible over one lap. So that's where you really want to get the speed out. But for now, it's about getting comfortable, getting through that semi-final and making it to the final where Messrs. Balestri and Mazzeo already reside. For now, hope you've enjoyed that little stint down in the pits here on RC Racing TV. We'll be right back at it very soon with more of the lower finals. And our coverage presented to you by Patrick Schaefer's Team Shepherd, by HPI Racing, and by Runner Time Fuel, and in conjunction with IFMAR.